Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Christian Smith. Today we have another episode of Christian Life where we see how the Bible and prayer come alive in people's lives. Today I have a friend, Rich Constantinescu, joining us who's going to share how the Bible has been very real and practical in his life. So let's turn it over to him. Hi, my name is Rich Constantinescu, and I'd like to share an amazing story with you about how God's Word saved my life and probably a few other people's lives as well. We were just preparing to leave Donner Lake, which is in Northern California, very close to Lake Tahoe. My family, my four children, my wife, were all in the minivan together, pulled up to a stop sign, and I turned my head to look up the mountain towards Soda Springs, and I didn't see any cars coming. I turned to the right, and I saw that there was a car coming, but something urged me to go very quickly in front of this car. And, you know, not all impressions come from God, and we cannot live our lives based on impressions. Often God does speak to us through impressions, but they must always be tested by God's Word. I would memorized a verse many years earlier in Matthew, Matthew 7, 14, I believe, which says, Therefore all things whatsoever you would, Jesus said, that men do to you, do even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. So as I considered going very quickly in front of this car, it looked like I could make it, I could make it and not get into an accident. This text came strongly to mind. And I thought, even if I do make it, do I really like someone whipping out in front of me in traffic? And the answer was no, I don't like that. And so I did not go. And again, the impression came, it was very strong. You can make it punch it, go quickly. And that text again was just firmly embedded in my mind because I had placed it there and I'd meditated upon it. And I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. And I firmly pressed the brake. And as soon as my foot pressed down on that brake, a bicyclist that I had not seen in the shadows coming down from Soda Springs went in front of my car the very instant I pressed the brake. And he went so fast that I could barely see him. I almost heard him go by the car. It was so fast, just whoosh. And I realized that if I had listened to that temptation, that impression, that I would have killed that bicyclist. And I probably would have not only killed him, but probably harmed myself and my family in a very great way. And I was just so grateful that God's word has potential to, to teach us and to guide us. And I'm so grateful that it's a living word. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says, the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And in James, it says that this word can save our souls. Not only does it save our souls spiritually, not only does it transform our lives, but it also can actually prevent major disasters in our lives. Hide God's word in your heart, meditate upon it, pray, Ask the Lord to guide you. And then, yes, listen for the impressions of the Holy Spirit, but listen as they correspond to God's Word. And you will be prevented from going into many catastrophes, and you'll find an entrance into God's kingdom one day. God bless you all. Well, thank you so much for sharing that story, Rich. It's powerful how the Word of God affects our lives and impacts us. If you enjoyed it as well, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video.